So um, let's talk about whether or not uh, we, we, we can, should share inspirational quotes on um, our Facebook business pages and, uh, and, and elsewhere, I guess, where you can think about where else you're thinking about this. So here's the, 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 the drawback. I mean, people go, well, why not share inspirational quotes that are relevant to my work? Why, why wouldn't I do that? Because it's popular. People are tending to like it and, and comment on it. And here you can start to see where I, you know, those of you who know my Facebook ad strategy, you can start to see where this is going. The problem is it might be too easy to like. Um, and because it's too easy to like, it builds a warm audience that might be not really interested in our content. They're interested, sure, in the content from a famous person who has a very consumable and easy to like quote. Now you might say, well, why don't we take it a little bit middle ground? Could I do, could I do a complex quote? Uh, you know, share a complex quote from someone and, and the quote related to my work. That's a little better because it's a little less easy to like that quote. Uh, they have to think about it before they understand it and like it. And, but still as a business page, Facebook business page or Instagram account quote that's liked, they get automatically roped into your warm audience. So your warm audience gets bigger, which means it, it's more costly to reach your warm audience now. Ah. So the question is whether or not that's a good idea. Um, now the question is if that warm audience is really right on for your offerings, because you've tested this over time, then great. The people, you notice that the people who like your, your the, the quotes that you're sharing, are also end up being the, your buyers and clients, wonderful. But what I've seen is that quotes that are easy to like tend to build an audience of people who are in, not, they're not shallow people, right? Nobody's shallow, but they're engaging with a particular brand in a shallow way. Like, right, you see what I mean? Like, for example, um, it's interesting. Like when I go to certain pages or whatever, I expect, easy content like for example let's say buzzfeed or um up uh up upvote no um anyway there are certain there are certain brands that we expect to see easy content that's just really pleasant and doesn't require thinking if they start doing deeper stuff i'd be like mm, yeah that's not i'm not interested in you know in that i'll scroll by you, you see what i mean so the 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 question is what kind of relationship are you building with your audience and would they be interested enough therefore with actually the right people would sign sign up for your offerings but yeah yeah that that makes great sense and for for context not that it makes a, any difference but i i was thinking i was also aware that it it could look like a substitute or dilute from the from the substance of the you know as a concern the substance of one's yeah. main the main meal which is one's own content offerings that's i was thinking right. with with really like with a, like a sprinkling of seasoning yeah. done with with real discretion you know yeah. occasionally you well, know just on occasion you know one yes. out of eight posts being like oh you know this this is consistent right. with this and might be yeah so I i'm really glad you brought this point um yeah, like there's a couple of directions we can go with this. One is the algorithm, and second is the relationship you have with your audience. Okay, so let's talk about the algorithm real quick. It is true. It's like if you share <clears throat> image quotes, you know, memes, um, you know, the people who like the memes, Facebook or Instagram, you know, primarily this is what we're talking about right now, or LinkedIn also, will notice what they tend to, what kinds of posts they tend to like and the algorithm will keep serving them that. Whereas now next time you post a text only post or post a, a video of you sharing some, some thoughts, the, if they're not in the mood for it because they're used to the memes, they're gonna scroll past it. And over time, uh -huh. Facebook and Instagram will stop yeah. showing, will stop showing your text only post and videos to them and will only show your memes to them. Right. Even Not, if they're even if they're text only quotes, even if they're text only quotes. So what I like about what you said is, will it dilute? How can I still keep the relationship with my audience um, on a on a good, you know, kind of like a 
productive basis, I'd say, why not work in your quotes into your blog posts, into your videos? And I'll give you, I'll give you exa uh, an example of it because I recently did that. Um, you know, I recently, uh, this, this, yeah, this one. Okay, so this is a blog post where I start sharing things. Now you could even put the quote, the famous quote up here too, as a start of the blog post, that's fine. Although if you did that, some people might like the quote, not reading the blog post, you know, that's part of the problem. But so if you notice this, I have, you know, the great composer Tchaikovsky wrote, and these are two quotes, but that's actually somewhere in, in the blog, they've already gotten into it. And right. then I, I have other quotes, look, there's another quote, long quote here. And then finally, I have a couple more quotes here. Now, there's, that's probably too many quotes for one blog post, but, but that's a middle ground where you're integrating. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you work the medical uh, perspective, too, with Dr. J. Dr. J? Who's that? Julius Irving. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. There I was go. being playful about the medical. He, ah. He's no, known as Dr. Oh. J. Dr. J, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty bad at uh, keeping up with the popular sports stuff. So anyway, yeah. but yes, so that makes sense. Cool. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you.